All right, what's up, guys? Banana Clip Man here, and today I'm just having some gameplay in the background here, the new gun running DLC. And, uh, well, I don't know how I'm really going to commentate this. You see me buying the farmhouse bunker, and I, I seen the other... Well, no, I didn't buy the farmhouse bunker. I seen all the bunkers. I was looking through them, and I found out that the best one was the one that I'm about to choose here, I guess, in a few. I just wanted to showcase this all. But it's going to be the the Fort Lago Zancudo Bunker. I found out that was the best one since it's like right next to the air base. So you can get your jets and whatnot if you want to. And it's close to the city. I mean, that that's cool. You could also buy the Shumash Bunker, which I was about to right there. But then I guess I didn't at like the last second. I'm not really sure totally. But yeah. I definitely recommend buying that one. I'm like, sorry if I'm tired. This is like 5 o'clock in the morning right now. So, I mean, it'll probably be uploaded later, but it, it's still 5 o'clock in the morning. This is all the uh, customization options that you can get with it. Of course, I added everything. Shooting range. I just kept it black just because why are you going to pay more just for a different fucking color target? That's stupid. And uh, transportation, which is cool, you can actually get golf carts, like you see in the trailer. You can you can actually use those, which is dope. There we go. That, yeah, that's like an expensive ass thing right there. Well, it's not really expensive. It's costs less than the Maze Bank and shit, so that's not bad. And I think uh, here I was just showcasing the War Stock, which now you have the ability to customize like this big ass trailer and you'll see what I customize it as I mess up a whole bunch of times so you know what I'm just gonna cut after I show all these command centers and whatnot like you can have your weapons workshop your living quarters uh, vehicle like thing uh, some vehicle workshop I did both in one I'm pretty sure I did both in one. I can't remember. Oh, here's where I start messing up. My bad. Yeah, you can have vehicle and weapon workshop. You can also have an interior, but this is where I keep messing up, so I'm just going to stop this, cut it, and uh, go on to the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next uh, stage here. Okay, now we got. I'm showing off the new uh, APC. Which is the, uh, like, land and sea type of thing. I mean, uh, I, I didn't buy it yet because I'm going to do the trade price and everything. Which I would have bought it, but that'll be showcased in another video. I just wanted to show you all this. And, yeah, so I'm just going to let this scroll through. Like, the new half track, which is like a, a tank and a truck. It's weird. We got the new flying motorcycle, which is, I don't know how that's going to turn out. We got the Tampa. We got the anti-aircraft trailer, which I, I'm i pretty sure you just slap that on the back of your cab there that you own. And the ballistic equipment you cannot yet unlock. You have to actually, uh, yeah, you have to do research, which is I'll show you in the other video. It's research where you have to set your assignment and staff to go research shit for you. Nothing in uh, Legendary Motorsports, which I that, that was kind of disappointing because I thought there was going to be. But, I mean, there's no reason to be. And I just checked Benny's for some stupid ass reason. I don't know why. And then I checked Southern San Andreas, nothing in Southern San Andreas. And there was nothing in a latest travel. Which I did later on check also. And um, there was no new apartments either. Which. Eh. I kind of thought there was going to be. But. Doesn't mind me if there's not. Because we got a damn bunker. So who gives a shit really. And. Then. Yeah that's about it. There was no new boats. Which I kind of thought there was going to be also. Like some attack boats or some type of shit. But you never know, we might have to unlock that. And, uh, oh, here we go into the next part of the video. Which is the outfits. Which, those are the new outfits for the 
uh, what is it, the gun running update, which I, I think are fairly shit. I mean, they're not even good. They're pretty, they're pretty shit. And then I just exit out of that. That there was nothing I wanted to really buy there. And for those of you guys who are wondering about the new weapons, American, you cannot it? actually purchase these weapons from ammunition. I didn't know that until now, but I just found that out. And here we go. Now we're stepping into the more uh, clothing yeah. side of things. This is all the clothes and everything. This is all like stupid, stupid shit. I'll just let this part play out because it's just all the clothes and everything. It's just, it's just boring. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought... Let me know if you need a hand, okay? We're done here. See anything you like? I'm over here if you need me.
reach out if you need me. Somebody say something? Okay, now we're starting to finish off the clothes and we're moving into masks. Which, I, I don't... Some of these masks are, like, really, like, cool. Some of them. And then some of them are just, like, stupid. Like, those, like, masks I didn't get. Like, I, I didn't get those. But these ones were weird looking. Some of them. Definitely some of them are weird ass looking. Like that one. That one looks weird. Oh, man. Sorry. Man. Gotta do what you gotta do for this DLC, huh? And that was it. They only had, like, a few categories of masks, but they added, like, a whole new category, which is zombies. And that... <coughs> that's kind of cool. I guess. I mean, they're not the best-looking masks, to be honest with you. And I thought that feature was kind of cool. Like, put the face mask over while you have the beret on. These masks, I think, are, like, the coolest-looking ones. This is, like, some, uh... Mission Impossible-type masks. Like some like uh oh, what's that movie that came out? This is some Mission Impossible movie with the rock. That's alright. And then we have see these are the zombies masks and that confused me because I couldn't even see his face. You see me shaking the camera because I couldn't really see the zombies face, I can only see his eyes. And there you go back to the normal zombies. Those were purified zombies, I guess, so right. I mean the zombies don't look too good. They're they're fairly shit to be honest. And now I can't. No, oh, that's what we're moving on to. We're moving on to the tattoos. See, I, I couldn't even guess. And the tattoos were actually kind of cool. I already had tattoos on. I put some of the tattoos on, but I didn't put them all on. And I don't know why the tattoos I just didn't really give a shit about. They weren't that appealing to me. I mean, some of them were cool, and I wanted to have them on, but I couldn't because I already had ones on. Fix them up. Oh, the dog tags were new. I didn't even see that in my video, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not sure what else I should do here. I'm I'm just gonna probably let this play out for y'all, cause that's it's just one. the same. It's just the same stuff, and I'll uh, I'll just let this play out. I'll I won't put music to it because I keep put music to my videos, and I keep getting copyright striked, even though it's there for you to put music on. I don't get that, good. but that's just Can't how it is. So, you know what? This will be the last I talk to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thanks. I need the cash. I just finished a dragon tattoo on a dude's back. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Hope you're paying cash. That's a cool one. Actually, I forgot to put in hair. I never went to the hair salon. I am sorry. 